Hi, I'm Steve Lindsay, commander of STS-133. You're watching NASA TV. Good morning, Discovery. That was City of Blinding Lights by U2. And that comes from you, from your crewmate on the Earth, Tim Copra. Now, that was going to be Tim's wake-up song, and he asked us to play that for you today to honor his crewmates in space. But the Discovery crew joins us from the space station. They're orbiting 220 miles above Earth, so we will have a little bit of delay. But you guys look great. It's Commander Steve Lindsay, Eric Bow, the pilot, Steve Bowen, mission specialist, Alvin Drew, mission specialist, Mike Barrett, mission specialist, and Nicole Stott, mission specialist. Great to see all of you this morning. Uh, let me start with Commander Lindsay. You guys launched Thursday. You got to the space station on Saturday. As we said, this is going to be the final mission. What, is it, what has it been like so far? Well, so far, uh, the, the mission has been fantastic. Uh, we've, uh, we've accomplished most of our major objectives already. We uh, had two successful spacewalks, accomplished all those objectives, plus a whole bunch of extra what we call get-aheads. We installed the last uh, uh, scheduled U.S. pressurized module to the space station. We installed an uh, external stowage platform with critical spares for the space station. Uh, been transferring and working a lot of science as well as well as some logistics and, and cargo transfer. So, so far the mission has gone just uh, absolutely spectacular. We couldn't be happier with it and looking forward to a couple of more days up here on our beautiful International Space Station. Uh, Commander, you are going to be the pilot when you bring this thing in for its final landing ever. Uh, the pilot, you'll be the commander. Pilot uh, Eric Bow uh, is going to be uh, riding shotguns. So you two are going to bring this thing in. Uh, Eric, I want to ask you, when you bring that down and you hear those final words from Mission Control to say uh, successful landing of the space, uh, the space shuttle, uh, what, what, are you, what are you thinking about that moment? Well, we'll be glad to uh, be back on Earth, and with, as the final landing, I think you said it before, is it's going to be bittersweet. You know, the the shuttle, it's amazing. The uh, Discovery looks like it's flying its first flight, and it's, it'll be a time that when, when we get to, you know, there's a huge team that is involved in maintaining Discovery on the ground. So it's a huge pride for the 30 years plus of the shuttles flying, and Discovery doing great work on orbit. That really is, uh, and we're just seeing the pictures right now. It's amazing. Alvin, I want to ask you, uh, you got to do a special experiment, a message in a bottle experiment. What was that? A message in a bottle experiment was uh, commissioned by JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, where they wanted to capture a bit of outer space in a glass tube to bring back to put on display uh, throughout Japan. So my job was to go out there and open up this bottle and capture some space, um, actually just the, the vacuum of space, in this and seal it back up uh, to bring back to the folks for Japan. 
Okay, I don't know how much of that you got, but uh, essentially today um, we're at the point where we've completed our major robotics activities and our two uh, spacewalks. So we'll be working some more transfer and getting a little time off, hopefully uh, spend some of that looking out the, the nice panoramic window we have in the cupola module. This being the last uh, shuttle mission, is it a bittersweet moment? Well, we have the last, uh, we have the honor of actually uh, flying the last mission of the good ship Discovery. There's uh, one and possibly two more shuttle missions after us. But of course, we're, we're seeing a program uh, come to a close here. And uh, to see these shuttles, these beautiful, magnificent flying machines uh, end their service life is obviously a little bit sad for us to see. But uh, it, it is about time. They've lived a very long time. They've uh, had a fabulous success record. They've built this magnificent station. They've given us lots of science and a tremendous amount of experience of just how to operate in space. And uh, more than anything, uh, we look forward to uh, seeing them retire with dignity and bringing on the next line of uh, spaceships. The crew of Space Shuttle Discovery, thank you for taking time out of your busy mission to talk with us. We really appreciate it. I'd like to start with talking to Nicole Stock, Clearwater High School graduate who's been before on the space station as a resident there for three months. And Nicole, it is excellent to be talking with you again. I want to lead off with a question from Tom on Facebook. He asked, if you could bring back one experience from space and share it with everyone down here, what would that be? Well, I think it would be a combination of two things, really. Um, one would be that we should look at this uh, this space station, this just really magnificent magnificent orbiting spacecraft, as as a true example of what we can do as an international community. Um, the, it, this is a complex machine that's up here, and we have come together as countries from around the world and, and built it beautifully. And then I think I would also say that um, you can't walk away from here or float away from here without uh, really appreciating what a wonderful planet we have. Um, there is nothing like the views you get out the windows here of our just glowing, colorful planet to make us realize that, that we have a very special place to take care of, and it does such a perfect job of providing us with uh, what we need to live and survive there. So I think those would be the two things. And Houston Station on two for the Rams. I'm looking at messages, and uh, I see uh, up to 250304, and then uh, we skip to 0418. And I'm looking for 250309. Can you confirm that's still on board? Mike, we'll double check. We thought so. Okay, and you may be absolutely right. It's been a while since I've been uh, messing with these computers. I'm going to run for the PAO event, and uh, we'll catch up with you afterwards. Good plan. Uh, you know, Mike, uh, I want to ask you this one. You know, Discovery, uh, it's been up there very many times. And, and, and when we take a look at the miles that Discovery has been on after the 5,600 trips it's been around the Earth, are, are there more uh, leaks, shall we say, in the sunroof? Are there tears in the upholstery? Is it creaking a little bit more? You know, it's a great question, but uh, inherent in flying in space is that the hardware has to work pretty well perfectly. Peter, and, and I think Peter, I can Peter, safe, Peter, I think I can uh, safely say that uh, Discovery is at the top of her game. I mean, she's a very clean vehicle, and she's very well cared for and uh, viciously defended by the ground crew that uh, that services her. And she is just in pristine shape. So no, it's it's a wonderful vehicle to fly on. Eric Bow here. I think the thing that uh, it will really strike home to me when we actually do the walk around when we land, because uh, obviously we're concentrating at the mission at hand. Occasionally we think about the the legacy that Discovery has. But I think for me, after we do the walk around, and as Nicole said, a tear is going to come to the eye. And the big word that I could describe it is with pride. I mean, it's people that make the ship. All the ships we've had, as Mike was saying, with, with Discovery, we've had a, leg, a, li a line of ships named Discovery, but it's the people behind those ships that made the difference. And just like that, it's the people that make Discovery, the space shuttle, such a uh, great machine. 
You're Steve Bowen inside the Quest airlock on board the International Space Station. Those uh, spacesuits you see there, there's uh, one in front, that's the one that Steve Bowen actually used, and the one back behind the camera. Their jobs are now done, so those two spacesuits will be uh, transferred back over to Discovery. They'll come home aboard the shuttle. And here is the President of the United States. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. President. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. Well, I am glad to be... Is this Scott? Yes, sir. How are you, my friend? I am doing uh, just fine, Mr. President. Thank you. Well, uh, look, I wanted to call and just say how... Uh, personally proud I am of you and, and all that you're accomplishing. Uh, you know, we are always inspired by the images of you guys at work uh, as you put some of the final pieces in place to make uh, ISS fully operational. And you are setting such a great example with your dedication, uh, your, your courage, uh, your commitment to exploration. You know, these are traits that built America and you guys personify them. Uh, and uh, Colonel Lindsay, it must be a great honor to be the last commander of uh, uh, the, the Discovery. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's traveled more distance in space and spent more time in orbit than any of its peers in the shuttle fleet. Uh, so uh, it's appropriate that it's uh, performing this uh, critical and iconic mission uh, and uh, adding to the legacy uh, by uh, by working on this uh, uh, ISS uh, assembly to full operations. Well, thank thank you, sir. Uh, on behalf on behalf of the crew, it's you know it's a real privilege for us to get to fly Discovery on her final mission, and uh, uh, we were actually trying to calculate with uh, now we're going to land on Wednesday, and we're calculating. We think that when we land, we'll uh, Discovery will have flown in space for 365 days, so for a whole year, which is pretty incredible for a vehicle, and uh, and she's uh, been into space. Uh, I think 38, 39 times, and that's a pretty incredible record, and and uh, she won't be forgotten for a long, long time. We hope. Well, uh, it, that's that's a remarkable, remarkable record, and uh, I understand that uh, you got a full complement of 12 astronauts and cosmonauts uh, that are on the line, and uh, I, I also understand there's been a lot of traffic up there. Uh, we've got uh, a vehicle from every partner that flies to the ISS, right? So we got U.S., Russia, European Space Agency and Japan, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good metaphor for how we uh, need to live and work together uh, productively in space and, and maybe back here on Earth. So uh, it's just a, it's a great uh, testament to the dedication of you and your colleagues uh, making uh, ISS function so smoothly. And, and that's something that uh, all, the, all the countries involved can be proud of. Well, well, thank you for that, sir. And uh, and you're right. We have uh, modules from every uh, every uh, nation participating, and uh, it is a testimony that uh, you know countries that can work together and build something. And and we really wish everybody could come uh, come up here and see this, and they get an appreciation for um, that. All of these countries put together the probably the most complex thing ever built and built it in space built it all and uh, put it all together and you know what everything fit the first time we tried it which is uh, which is pretty incredible uh, engineering feat and just a testimony of the cooperation between all the countries involved now I, I understand that uh, you guys have a new crew member uh, this uh, R2 robot so uh, uh, you know I, I don't know whether you guys are uh, putting uh, R2 to work uh, but uh, he's got a lot of attention and uh, you know that uh, that helps inspire some uh, some young people when it comes to science and technology. So, uh, uh, it, 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 are, are you guys uh, making them do chores up there, washing the dishes or something, or, or does he have uh, more exciting jobs? Well, sir, uh, we actually just uh, just pulled him out of our uh, the permanent multi-purpose module that we just delivered and installed two days ago. I think we pulled him out uh, yesterday, and he's off camera right there, right next to uh, the camera, just off camera. He's still in packing foam, so we hope to uh, 
to get him out uh, shortly, and uh, it's going to be fun to see how uh, how he works. <laughs> He's still unpacking the phone. That's a shame, man. Come on, guys, unpack the guy. <laughs> he flew all that way, and you, and you guys aren't unpacking him? <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the poor guy's been locked in that foam for about four months now, and uh, every once in a while we hear kind of some scratching sounds from inside, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, let me out, let me out, but we're not sure. All right, well, uh, well, let, let, let him stretch his legs uh, uh, pretty soon. But, uh, look, I, I just want to uh, congratulate everybody uh, at NASA, all the personnel past and present who, who have spent uh untold effort in making the space shuttle discovery a, a unique part of uh, our history in space. And uh, Congratulations to all the other uh, nations that are involved in the ISS. And, and uh, uh, we, we could not be prouder of, of what you guys are doing. And, and uh, But let me say, uh, Scott, uh, I, I talked to Mark uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it sounds like Gabby's making incredible progress. And uh, uh, you know, we're we're just uh, thrilled for them, and, and so they're always in our thoughts and prayers as well. I know I know uh, that's something that has been of deep concern to you as well. So I just want to let you know that. Yes, sir. Thank you. She's uh, she's really a true inspiration to uh, to all of us. I appreciate your words. All right. Well, thank you guys. This is a tremendous accomplishment, and uh, Godspeed as you guys get uh, back home safe and sound. Yes, sir. Thanks for your uh, your time to talk to us today. We really uh, appreciate it. You bet. Bye bye, everybody. The crew on Space Shuttle Discovery and most of their International Space Station colleagues have uh, gotten together for a joint meal in the Unity module of the space station. The crew started uh, showing us. Uh, giving us a, a rare look at their uh, activities during pre-sleep. Started uh, about 10 minutes ago during the briefing.